Good morning. How's everyone this morning, okay? Good, it's exciting to see everyone and thank you, Harold, uh, for that kind introduction. I am so honored uh, to be here today with all of you uh, and thankful to have the chance to address the International Association of Firefighters. Now, let me just get this out there. I come from uh, a family of law enforcement. But I'll tell you what, my brothers and sisters, you are all, we are all part of the family. Uh, and I do have uh, family members and an uncle is a retired firefighter. So I so appreciate everything that you do in our communities. As you've heard, my name is Catherine Cortez Masto and I represent the great state of Nevada and I'm very excited to be here with all of you and, and my good uh, friends from Nevada. As the daughter of a union member, I know how essential unions are to ensuring that workers are provided the rights and the tools necessary to do the best job possible. And there are few jobs that can compare to the invaluable role that firefighters and emergency medical personnel play in protecting the health and safety of all Americans. That's why it is so important that we are working alongside with you and the IAFF to fight for the rights and support of all IAFF members. It is so easy to overlook that firefighters are our public sector employees whose benefits and rights fall under the purview of the federal government, now, not with the cities or the towns where they operate every day. This means that we in Congress have that much more crucial role in ensuring our firefighters are supported. I recognize this and take that responsibility very seriously. I will work in the Senate for initiatives that support the IAFF and its members. That includes repealing the Cadillac tax. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, I'll be with, all, I'm honest with you, I do not support repealing the Affordable Care Act. Tens of thousands of Nevadans have benefited up from it, and I do not support taking away their health care. However, there is no question that the law does have its flaws, and we should be looking at ways to fix and improve the bill, not start from scratch. And I've said this all along. Let's keep what works and fix what doesn't. And one way to fix it is to eliminate the burdensome Cadillac tax. We should not be placing an unnecessary add and burden on workers, especially workers whose profession brings high risks for health and safety. IAFF members are on the front lines and depend on affordable access to quality care to do your job successfully. You should not be taxed for your health benefits. And we need to be looking at alternative ways to address health care costs. But that doesn't start with repealing the bill that had a positive impact of over 20 million Americans and over 400,000 Nevadans. I know that colleagues of mine on both sides of the aisle support repealing the Cadillac tax and will be working on a path forward to get this done. I will also support and work to protect firefighters' collective bargaining rights. That means making sure that firefighters' pensions are preserved. Your rights as federal employees are protected and you continue to be able to negotiate for fair treatment and wages. I've said it before, I am the daughter of a union worker. Many of the benefits that we had growing up is because we had the right to collectively bargain for those benefits. I know how critical unions are to protecting our workers and ensuring our men and women in the workforce receive the treatment and respect that they deserve. And finally, I am committed to working to ensure firefighters and emergency medical personnel have funds needed to ensure resources, staffing, and training are adequate. This means helping secure grants and funding for our firefighters across the country. Again, I don't have to tell all of you, 
you are on the front lines of protecting our communities. It is essential that you have the tools and support necessary to succeed. I look forward to working with the IAFF and all of its members to make sure I'm doing everything possible so to support you and professional firefighters, not just in my home state of Nevada, but across the country. I want to thank you all for all you do. I look so forward to working with you side by side, and I hope you have an incredible conference. Thank you again for the opportunity to speak with you this morning. Thank you. Thank you.